click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the action of acidified K2Cr2O7 on primary as well as secondary alcohol. And now in this topic we are going to talk about the action of acidified K2Cr2O7 on NaCl that is sodium chloride. So what is the reaction and what is the color change that is what we could observe in this reaction. This is what I am going to talk about in this topic. So friends, the action of acidified K2Cr2O7 on NaCl that is sodium chloride is as follows. So in that case, we have to consider that is K2Cr2O7. And obviously, we are talking about the acidic condition. That's the reason we are reacting with 6 moles of H2SO4 and we are reacting it with 4 moles of NaCl. The reaction proceeds by providing a particular temperature to it and that's the reason that the product that is what we could get is 2 moles of KHSO4 that is potassium hydrogen sulfate along with that of 4 moles of NaHSO4 that is sodium hydrogen sulfate and the main product that is what we could get over here is CrO2Cl2 that is known as chromyl chloride along with that of H2O. So these are the soluble products that is what we could get but this CrO2Cl2 that is chromyl chloride that is what we could get it so this is what we could obtain in the form of red vapors. So after the condensation, this red vapors will be converted into red oily liquid and this is how we see the color change will be from an orange red color to red color liquid that is an oily liquid. So this is what the reaction is and that's it. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this reaction and I hope I'll see you next time. Till then don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.